So in the last session, we discussed about the basic numericals and we just saw the introduction of numerical portion. And uh, the entire chapter is divided into two parts, that is analysis and design. We started with the analysis portion and in that too, we just saw the basic examples that were pertaining to the relation between stress strain diagram for our single RCB. The single RCB stress strain diagram has been asked in the GT examination. So you do need to prepare a note of it and just remember the basic stresses that is the maximum compressive stress, maximum tensile stress and the you know, points that are the location of the CG that is at the distance of 0.4 to XU and the maximum and ten, that the maximum compressive and tensile strain. Okay? So today we will be seeing some more analysis problems pertaining to our single RCB. So moving forward. Our today's question here is a single RC beam has effective dimensions. Keep in mind there are again two types of depth we will be dealing across. The first one being the overall depth that is a capital D and the second one being the effective depth that is a small d. Here it is mentioned that it has effective dimension that means the small d is mentioned here 250 mm cross 450 mm. So the first dimension will always be the width that is 250 mm and the second dimension will be our effective depth that is small d that is 450 mm. It is reinforced with three numbers of 20 mm diameter. Now in the previous session that we discussed earlier, the AST that is area of steel in tension was not prescribed and here the total number of bars are even given. There are, it is mentioned that there are three numbers of 20 mm diameter bars of grade FE415. Again, FE415 that refers to HYST steel or you can say high yield strength deformed bars here. And the question here is find out the moment of resistance of the beam. Now what do you mean by moment of resistance of the beam? So basically moment of resistance means the maximum bending moment that the beam can carry under this axial loading to satisfy the condition. Clear? So first we need to find the cases that is the relation between XU and XU max. As we discussed in the previous sessions that there are three possible cases. The first one is the section can be under reinforced that is XU will be less than XU max in that case. The second will be the section can be over reinforced so in that case it is mentioned that XU is greater than XU max and the third case can be it can be in the balance section or you can say limiting section and for that XU will be equal to XU max. So here this will be the cross section area as you can see here up till now we just plot a, a horizontal line in the case but here the steels are being mentioned that is number of bars are being mentioned here so we will be plotting this. So here you can see there are three bars been mentioned here uh, because it is given in the question that three numbers of 20 mm diameter bars are being used. So this will be our small d that is affected there. They will the width of section and the data that is given in the question is that Fck is 20 newton per mm square and Fy that is yield stress. Yield stress basically depends upon the grade of steel. So yield stress here is 415 newton per mm square. Now as the number of bars are be given, the first step will be to find the area of bars. Clear? So the AST, again keep in mind ST is not steel, it is A that is capital A stands for area, S stands for steel and T stands for tension. So it, it, it is basically area of steel in tension. So total three numbers of bar are being used and each bar has a cross section area pi by 4 d square. So the total area here comes out to be 942.47 mm square. Now the next step will be to find the value of neutral axis that is depth of neutral axis which is termed as x u. This equation can be obtained from our page 96 of your IES score as you can see here page 96 annex g. As we are dealing with single reinforced beam, single reinforced beam starts with this clause that is G1.1. In that point number A, you can see here, determine the depth of neutral axis from the following equation. That means to whenever we are required to find the depth of neutral axis or you can say XU, we will be using this equation that is XU by D equal to 0.87 FY AST by 0.3 FCK BD. Again, 
from the denominator part will be cancelling out d on each side so the final equation here comes out to be x here equal to 0.87 f by ast upon 0.36 subsecant b and solving it we get an answer 189.04 mm clear so this is x u that is depth of neutral axis now to find m u uh, we need to find the value of x u max so x u max can be obtained from page number 70 as we have discussed earlier to for fe 415 c that is given in the question so for fe 415 c the x u max by d ratio will be 0.48 so solving it we get x u max equal to 216 x u was 189.04 x u max is 216 uh, mm so the relation here comes out that x u is less than x u max so whenever x u is less than x u max the section is under reinforced section so whenever we are analyzing a singly reinforced beam the first step of us in each and every sum will be to find the relation between x u and x u max or m u and m u limit the your x u is less than x u max so the section here is under reinforced section now why so for that we will be again referring to page number 96 of your is 456 2000 and it states that point number b point number c and point number d are very vital when you are dealing with the analysis as well as design of a singly reinforced beam so moving further point number b it states that if the value of x u by d that means in our case it will be x u because we have uh, neglected d on both sides so we will be substituting here yes. if the value of x u is less than limiting value that means limiting value is x u max so the first here case that is point number b states that x u less than x u max then calculate the moment of resistance that means calculate the value of m u by the following expression so this equation will be used only when we are getting the condition x u max than x u max clear for point number c it states that if the value of x u is equal to limiting value again limiting value is x u max so it says that if the value of x u is equal to x u max then we will be solving it using this equation that is m u lim and the third uh, case that is point number d it states that if x u is greater than limiting value that means the third condition will be x u greater than x u max so for greater than x u max the section should be redesigned it states that's clear so whenever we are dealing with analysis problem the first thing of us will be to find the relation between x u and x u max here we have proved that the x u is less than x u max so the section is under reinforced and every time for under reinforced section will be using this equation to find the value of m u okay so this equation will be used to find the value of m u and uh, substituting everything here we get the answer m u to be 126.5 kN into meter fy will be 415 ast we have just obtained in the last uh, slide d will be effective depth ast fy will be 415 in this case b will be the breadth of section d will be the effective depth again and fck will be 20 clear so substituting everything we are getting an answer 126.5 kN into meter now moving on to the next sum of today the question here is a singly rc beam 230 mm cross 450 sorry 480 mm effective clear so the dimensions here are width is given as 230 mm and uh, the depth is given as 480 mm but it is mentioned as effective so the small d is given in the question here is 480 mm has to resist a factor moment of 90 kN meter clear so it is at, it has to resist a factor moment so moment is given in the question use m20 com concrete fe for the steel and we are to find the area of steel because it is mentioned calculate the area of steel required so the width of the section depth of the section fck fy and mu these are the given data now whenever we are dealing with moment or any lower value is given in the question we always need to remember two cases the first case is that whenever in the question it is men mentioned any of these four values that is if it is given in the question to be actual load or actual moment or it is said that it is given in the question to be working load or working moment 
characteristic load or characteristic moment and simply load or moment if it is written in the question in this form then it will be classified as case 1 and for case 2 we will be classified it to be factor load or factor moment design load or design moment ultimate load or ultimate moment so whenever in the question if you see any of these words mentioned then you need to focus on these two cases here you can see here it is mentioned as factor load or factor moment clear so factor belongs to case number 2 so what to do when the answer or the when the question is mentioned to be of case 1 and what to do when it is mentioned of case 2 we will be looking upon for case 1 we always need to multiply the load or moment by factor of safety keep in mind whenever in the question it is mentioned that it is given as actual moment a working moment a characteristic moment or simply moment or load clear so for any of these cases we always need to the first step will be to multiply the value that is been mentioned by factor of safety that is factor of safety will be considered to be 1.5 in case 1 in case 2 whenever it is given as factor load design load or ultimate load there is no need to multiply the answer or the question by 1.5 clear here in the question it is given as factor moment so we won't be multiplying it to be into 1.5 we will be just using this 90 as our data in the sum area clear so you need to remember this case 2 and case 1 because if you Uh, fail the criteria in the first step itself your entire problem will be wrong so now moving forward our mu lim in this case mu lim will be 0.13 tfcg bd square now keeping mind here here ast is not given in the question we need to find the value of ast so we won't be able to compare the relation between xc and xu max as mu is given in the question itself we will be comparing the relation mu and mu lim to prove that whether our section is balanced under imposed or over imposed yeah? so mu lim for fe forum size steel will be 0.13 rc kg bd square and the answer comes out to be 146.25 into 10 raised to 6 newton into mm or you can say direct into 10 raised to 6 if you remove it it will be in kilonewton into meter so as we can say mu is less than mu lim the section here is under reinforced section now the question here is to find the value of or to find the area of steel so to finding the area of steel you need to remember this value this value is mentioned in sp16 this equation is mentioned in sp16 and sp16 is not allowed in our examination so you need to remember this equation if the equation here is pt p stands for percentage and t stands for tension so it is portion percentage of tension reinforcement so the percentage of tension reinforcement will always be calculated from this equation that is 50 fck by fy 1 minus under root 1 minus 4.6 mu upon fck bd square we have, have every values in this case so the substituting everything we are getting pt to be 0.53 keep in mind it is a percentage value so the unit will be percent So we are getting PT to be 0.53 percentage. Now ultimate aim is to find the value of AST. Again, the equation for AST is not given in our uh, IS code itself, or you can say textbook itself. It is given in our SP16. But we will be remembering this, and the equation for AST will be PT BD by 100. We'll be using this equation in the entire our uh, syllabus itself. So you need to remember this that PT will be. Equal to 50 fck by fy 1 minus 100 root 1 minus 4.6 mu upon fck bd square, whereas AST will be PT bd by 100. So solving it, we are getting an answer that AST will be equal to 585.12 mm square. Clear? So this was the second sum, and moving on to our next sum, the question here is find moment of resistance for a beam. 150 mm cross 350 mm overall size keep in mind here overall size is mentioned therefore it is given as capital d and 40 mm effective cover why cover is given because we need to find the value of small d small d will always be equal to overall depth minus cover clear the beam is reinforced with three numbers of 16 mm diameter bars so the ast value can be obtained from this case and we need to use m20 concrete So moving further, this will be our dimensions. 150 is the 
width of section that is given in the question and 310 will be the effective depth why so because 350 is the overall depth that is as it is given here 350 is the overall depth and 40 mm is the cover so 350 minus 40 comes out to be 310 mm here so the small d value will be 310 now these are the given data the first step will be always to find the relation between xu and xu next xu can be obtained from this equation that we can see from the page number 96 here g 1.1 and so all we need we are getting the value of xu to be 201.58 mm the next step will be to find the value of xu max which can be obtained from page number 70 here fe 415 is given so the ratio will be 0.48 clear so solving it we are getting answer to be 148.8 mm now here in this case xu is greater than xu max clear xu is greater than xu max therefore it is overimposed now and what to be in this case because in this case you can see here point number d of your page number 96 point number d it says that if xu is greater than limiting value that means if x is greater than xu max the section should be re 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 redesigned clear but we won't be redesigning it we always will be designing as per mu link keep in mind if you are getting to be in the form of point number d then you will be always solving it using point number c so we will be the value of finding the value of n will you can directly use this equation 0.13 decibel square or you can use this equation that is mentioned in point number c in both cases the answer will be similar clear so it is up to you which equation you will be using upon so this was our moment of resistance in the case of over reinforced section so this is our today's session and this will be our exercise problem to solve it because it will be very handy for you while preparing for your examinations. So we will be seeing further more sums in the next session. Thank you.